Ethiopia is aspired to be the beacon of African prosperity by 2030. To realize this ambitious plan, the Ministry of Plan and Development of Ethiopia has set up a 10 years economic prospective plan. It has been two years since the country had proposed the prospective execution plan. As part of the grand economic reform, like that of the political reform and other endeavors entertaining the country, the incumbent administration of Ethiopia chose inward, looking through introducing a homegrown economic strategy to boost the economy of the country. This strategy dictates that the country should rely on its own blessings than relying on foreign aid and donation. To execute the ever-framed proposal, the government has revitalized the macroeconomic in imbalances through mechanizing all macroeconomic indicators. Hello and welcome to ETV World. I'm Tabitha John. In this program, we will look into Ethiopia's blessing of wheat production, future aspirations, besides the story of untapped opportunities. Do stay with us. Among the macroeconomic indicators, the agriculture sector of Ethiopia, specifically wheat production sector, takes the lion's share in uplifting the economy of the nation. Despite irrigable land, it has recently implemented plan start to positive results to secure food security. Importing wheat costs Ethiopia billions of bur every year. Hence, the oscillating nature of global economy and order forces the country to design its own homegrown economic plan. As a result, promising achievements are being underway. To make the agriculture sector successful, the government has mechanized the agriculture sector through introducing cluster farming, introducing irrigation schemes, familiarizing in lowland of eastern Ethiopia during the dry season, creating market linkage, facilitating and increasing export potential, and adapting urban agriculture are areas of priorities initiated to increase products and productivity of the country. Ethiopia, according to statistics, is the largest wheat producer in sub-Saharan Africa, yet remains a net importer so far. Increasing domestic wheat production is a national priority. Providing improved variety of seeds is an important pathway to enhance productivity and stability of production. Wheat is an important staple food crop in Ethiopia and since 2005, the country has been the largest producer of wheat in sub-Saharan Africa. Wheat is grown on 1.6 to 1.8 million hectares annually with an estimated 5 million farming households dependent on it. Wheat serves as both a food crop and an important source of income for Ethiopian smallholders. Demand for wheat is growing rapidly in Ethiopia, reflecting population growth and shifting dietary patterns linked to urbanization that are mirrored across other Eastern and Southern African countries. Ethiopia remains a net importer of wheat, meeting just over 70% of demand from domestic production. However, under the leadership of Abiy Ahmed, there are signs that the wheat sector in Ethiopia is undergoing a significant transformation and productivity is increasing rapidly. Food security issues and the need to reduce spending of scarce foreign currency reserves on costly wheat imports are both of paramount importance to the government of Ethiopia. Ethiopia's wheat production is expected to jump to 70% this year as it seeks to reduce reliance on food imports. While the boost in wheat provides a glimmer of hope, wheat production in Ethiopia for 2022-23 projected at a record level of 5.7 million metric tons, while corn forecasted to 10.2 million metric tons. The government of Ethiopia has identified top priorities that can increase production and productivity of cereals through small and large-scale irrigation development, financing agricultural inputs, encouraging cluster farming, and reducing post-harvest loss. 
The successful implementation of reform on wheat productivity has shown a remarkable result in Ethiopia. Currently, Ethiopia is harvesting millions of tons of wheat in different parts of the country, which is sufficient enough to export wheat for neighboring countries like Kenya and Djibouti. According to a recent tweet by PM Abiy Ahmed, quote unquote, in East Shawa Zotz, Dugda and Bora Waredas, 8,000 farmers have successfully grown wheat through cluster farming on 31,000 hectares of land. Abiy said, we will attain our food security goals, overcome hurdles and see our country thrive as we work together. Collective and coordinated efforts will reward Ethiopians and the government of Ethiopia on wheat production while waiting the harvesting time. Millions of tons of wheat will be harvested by anxious of its people, sacrificing their shared role to test the saccharin of wheat. And with this, we end our program and thank you for being with us. You can follow us on any social media platforms. Goodbye for now.